Uh, so guys, um, as I told you, I wanted to post a dish that I can go to the United States Bank. When you reach here, you have to pay one dollar. So when you pay one dollar, Canadian dollar, and then it, they have to stamp in for you or to clear you from the Canadian side for you to go to the US. And then half the bridge is Canada, half the bridge the other side is the United States. So when they clear you here, you have to go all the way and then you first reach the US and then they clear you too. So if you go and then you reach in the halfway and then they don't clear you in the US, you cannot come back to Canada, then they clear you. So if you decided to go through, that means you have to go continue reaching the US, they stamp in, they do the entry, and then you come back, they do the exit from US, and then come back to Canada. So I didn't want to go into all those kind of things. Hey, 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 my beautiful people, what's going on? We are heading to Niagara Falls and we are in uh, Canada, in the province of Ontario. Downtown uh, Toronto. Downtown Toronto, yes. So I, I'm heading to, uh, to Niagara, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm heading to Niagara. People in Kigali, people in Uganda, people in Kenya, all East Africans, here we go. So, uh, uh, come with me. Uh, as you can see, we are in spring. You are in spring. Yeah, spring yes. Yeah. Uh, we are in spring here. And uh, during time of spring, you can see that's when uh, the trees are green. During winter, winter time, that's when the trees shed off their leaves. So, as I told you, Canada, the way how it really looks, looks like a, it looks a very peaceful country. Um, based on what you see on the street, you can't see people with guns. Um, like, you can really tell when you reach here. Um, I told you, like, I think I was trying to go out. Canada is the second largest country in the world such a young population which is close to 38 million people uh, I was so shocked that California only has 39 so uh, that is a testament that uh, they really still need people in this country they really still need workforce so uh, yeah I decided to go around uh, Pass through downtown and then go outside of uh, downtown and then head to Niagara Falls. So go with me and then I will be showing you around. Yes, let's go. Here we go. So we are going in downtown. Um, if you go on Google, you will already see that tower. So this is downtown Toronto, right? That's the CN Tower. CN? Yeah. So that is the CN Tower. You can see that um, very tall uh, building. Actually, it's the tallest in Toronto, in Canada. It is the tallest in Canada. So the CN Tower is the tallest in the whole of Canada. Downtown Toronto. So um, you, uh, the, uh, they told me like uh, Ontario. That's the capital city. Ontario is a province. Is a province. Yeah. Ottawa, yes. Ottawa, Ottawa is, the capital. is the capital. So that means all the administrative buildings are in Ottawa. So uh, guys, as, he, as I think this when I relate it to America, Ottawa is like Washington is. 
and uh, it's very small. I had, yeah, it's small. Same with the old buildings. buildings. With the old buildings. And then, uh, actually, I, 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 I found out that Toronto is the, is the second largest, is the second largest city in the world, coming next to, to New York. No, it's Toronto, I think. Huh? Is that? Is that? Yeah, New York is the second. Mexico City is the largest. Yeah. So, uh, this is one of the largest cities in the world. So, what is famous? Uh, so, Toronto is famous for what? Um, it's just business, commercials, everything. Okay. All the happenings are here. All the happenings are here. So, like, what, what kind of jobs that people do here like immigrants or just kind of you know, every place all sorts of jobs depends on your qualification. Okay. Yeah. So where where so like someone who has come from back home car with uh, maybe qualifications with his degree can he start off a job no or? you have to get a short course. You have to get a short course. Yeah. So that you get integrated into the system. But if you don't want that, there are even so many jobs you can do without even going to school. Without even going to school, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, we have been used like, uh, how long would it take someone to get like a papers? Yeah, because we used like, if I find like in America, we might take like 15 years. How many? 15, that people who are in America oh, take 15 years. Yeah, the highest is two years. The highest is two years? Yeah. Wow. So we need one year, one and a half, you're done. One year, one, two years, then you're done. done. The highest is two years. So you can hear, guys, if you really want to come this side, if you want to come in North, North America, then Canada is the deal for you to get papers very easy and very soon. Yeah. You just have to be smart, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to be smart. that people when they come to Canada when you land in Canada that you're not supposed yeah. to be um, sent away there and then it is very true once you declare yourself mm -hmm. you are protected already at that very moment and nobody can deport you until they listen to your story what and that will take you one two years before they make a decision so that means like all you have to do you have to look for your way up here. Exactly. And be smart. And be smart, of course, and be smart. In That's it. Wow. So now, so there's one thing that I want to ask. Like, people have been coming to this country. People have been coming to Canada for a long period of time. Yeah. And of course, they have been coming with stories, you know, yeah. asylum and stuff like that. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't these people here in Canada, the administration, don't they reach at the moment they be like, no, these people are lying? No, they, they need to listen to you. Don't, like, they don't. Because, I mean, it's human rights. So if there's an abuse, mm -hmm. they'll always protect you. They value human rights. Mm. Yeah. So they will have to listen to a story. Exactly. Even the fact that they believe there are people who are fabricating those kind of things. Yes, but they want to get the authenticity of the story from you. Probably it is true or not. So you will always be given by. So what are some of the benefits that when someone comes to here that gets? The best I would say is education. Education. Yes. Because everybody has a right education and that. Even when you even when you haven't got papers? They will let you get hands on job. Because it is your right. Once you're in Canada, mm -hmm. it is your right. You 
medical education. How about medication? And it's your right to medical. They will give you medical. Medical is free. Medical is free here in Canada? Yes. So that is different from America. It's free. Everybody has a right to medical. So this is your right. There's also another thing I've heard uh, that uh, if you have kids, if you have children, I have there's some money. Yes, child benefit. benefit. Child benefit. Yes. So how does that happen? How does that work? Can you tell us? They are only tied on government funding. They support them. It's a form of support. So they give them a monthly stipend. Yes. So every month you, you receive some money from the government in your account. Yes, for the children. So that means some people they cannot work. Very true. They will not. <laughs> wow, that's that's the amazement of Canada. Wow. So for someone who is in Uganda, for someone who is in Rwanda, someone who is in Kenya and uh, is still uh, in high school. Yeah. How can that person like I've heard here people they do what are different ways of someone to come to this country? Well, right now in education is a bit they are now strict mm. because most people came to education and they are they are used this system. Mm -hmm. Now it's getting so tight. Indeed, <clears throat> the government that has got 39 million, they would be in need of 
India, the, uh, your, your, your nuclear is the second largest country yeah. by landmass in the whole world after yeah. Russia. After Russia. Yeah. Yes. With a population of 140 million. Wow. So, uh, bro, with a lot of, lot of mineral deposits, all kinds of minerals are here. You can go on Google and find it and you see it by yourself. Mm -hmm. It's all here. Mm -hmm. All the minerals. Wow. So, Everything is a very blessed one. Mm. It is just unfortunate that the, the, the population is so young. Mm. What causes that? Well, because this is an uh, uh, What causes that is normally people tend to focus so much on their career. By the time they realize it's late and maybe they don't want to have many children mm -hmm. and they are aging, so you find there is that, that very big gap of the the, 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 the the age, the old one, the young one. Oh. Yeah. And for economy to run, you need, need people. people. You're right. And you need learned people. Because when you look at everywhere, you see construction. That tells you the economy is booming. When you, when you go on highways, mm. you find it's all full of trucks. Mm. It tells you that business is going. Mm. Tell us about uh, truck driving here. It's, it's, it's one of the best jobs. Mm -hmm. Anyway, to me myself, I would say, oh, it takes you away from your family. It takes you away from your family. Yes, because much of the time you're on the road. Yeah. As much as just good pay and so high demand. Well, that would depend on an individual. What do you want? What do you value? You value your family more than money? But I would say it's good for people who are not yet married. Attached. Yes, who are not married. Yeah. You know, like yeah. So, you to be married yeah. depends on your goal. Yeah. Because there's good money there. So, then, so for, for, okay, let's take an example like for people who are married. People can always want to know things in terms of money. So, how much money a trucker driver would earn by the month? The month? Yeah. Well, I would look at the bottom line of it. It's about 11,000 dollars. 11,000 dollars. So, 11,000 dollars you can make math depending on the country where you're coming from. Yeah. So, what are the criteria of training that? about army? Army is strict. It's strict? Very strict. One, you must be a citizen. You must be a citizen Yes. So that's the difference between the US and the US. That's what that's. Then yes, when you are, you are from the covenant is not there. No, yeah, no. And I, I would say it is one of the most disciplined soldiers in the whole in the world. In the world. Yeah. Yeah. Do they get much more benefits? Oh yeah.
be a piano for three years? Yes. For, for five years? Yeah, that's three and a half years. Okay. I mean like... And your passport, yeah. another one and a half years, the other five years. We're done. No, no. So, then, so like, you've, you've, you've got your PR in three years. Yes. After getting it, from the day you've got it, how many you years does... One and a half year. To, to be... Oh, you don't take five years no. from the day? No.
Kwa mtu wa Uganda wao wando sura hiyo kujao wamekuta huko na mganda wao. <laughs> just go and drive Uber. You drive Uber. So how much money like can Uber drive and make it there? It won't depend on your efforts. Average. Okay, average for like in a month you are good with about 7000. How much? In a month. So during a day someone can make like 700 something. Yeah, $200. Yeah, just like I said, it depends on you. Yeah. Some are lazy, some yeah. are hard working. Yeah. So when you set your goal, you say, okay, I go on the road, yeah. I go back home with $300, yes, you will make it. You will make it. Yes. So, uh, Uber is like a taxi company. Yeah. So even taxis when I was there. Yeah, even taxis are there. Yeah. So the choice is yours.
there, you know, and stuff. Yeah. But they give you that grant. Wow. So t tell us about scholarships or that part of you show up back there are scholarships. Okay. Yeah. So it depends on who you are and what are you good at. Yeah. So you must be good at the certain thing. Yes. That's really nice. So you can hear from um, someone who has been here. So just come look for your way to this place. Everything first reach here. Yeah. As you get a hand no, so called to kewa ne no. The rest will follow. Yes. Don't be like you know. There are some people who always ask questions. So now when I reach there, what kind of job will I do? Where will I stay? First reach here. That's the most important thing. So when you reach here, I mean, people are always there to help you look for uh, your community, look for uh, Kenyan community, Rwandan community, uh, any African community that you find here and then you tell them to come back from Africa where they'll be able to help you. Yeah, people here, they really help each other. Ladies. Telling you, these are really, 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 really good cars. family so uh, as I told you I took a journey from where uh, I was that is Toronto and then I wanted to go to Niagara Falls and that's where I'm heading right now it is so close here and then um, starting from here you will see people that are coming from there and then oh, ladies and gentlemen as I've told you when I was coming I have reached at the place that I really wanted to tell you uh, and this is Niagara or Niagara Falls where I am standing right now, I am in Canada. And what you see right there is Niagara Falls or Niagara Falls. And then the buildings you see up there, that is United States of America. So Niagara, it has got this part here, and then it has got this huge part there. Based on my geography, when I remember very well, where it falls down, like the water where it falls down, that's what we call the plant pool. And if you go and, and Google about Niagara, it's one of the biggest falls in the world. So, my friend here, who is the cameraman, he has been joking and telling me that this is the mother of all waterfalls. <laughs> and so, uh, if you see this side, you can see a boat that has people who are putting on red. There's a Canadian flag, and I think, I don't know if that is a US flag. So, those are Canadian. So, what do they do, those ones? They are kind of taking people close to the falls, so that they can have a close view of the falls. Uh, so, if so you, we wanted to go in... All those ones who are in that, they are tourists. They are tourists, yeah. From Canada. Who yeah. come from Canada. Yeah. Oh. So, that yeah. is, if we go on that, then we can put on those jackets. Yes. So that's it. And then come in here. And then when you go this side, you see uh, the bridge. So if you see that bridge, it's the one that connects uh, Canada to the United States. So you just cross that bridge and then you go up to the United States. But if you see it anywhere, you see a US flag. And then if you see this side, you see a Canadian flag. Yeah. So if you if you want to to illegally migrate to US from Canada, you can swim. You can. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> if you can swim <laughs> through this water and then you go through the waterfall, <laughs> that means you can find yourself anywhere <laughs> in the United States or you can come to Canada. <laughs> or you can swim from US to Canada. You can swim from it's US very to dangerous Canada. though. So go and find out much more about the other falls. But as for now, I really wanted you guys to see this. And keep liking, keep sharing this. This is Burning Pass Nation. Get ready to the global horizon. Like Let's go. So now uh, we are decided to walk towards the U.S. border to Canada. Uh, I mean, you can see so many people just going there. People visit here almost every day. Thousands of people from different places of the world, you know. So they come to see the places very cool very nice um, we are in spring uh, people that are in spring right now so the, the trees they are green and, uh, and it's, not very hot, yeah. it's not very hot yeah so uh, during this time around during springtime it will be the the best time for you to come to uh, to visit this uh, place because Remember, Canada it does snow a lot, so that means when you come during winter time, it won't be the, the best thing for you. So this is what I was telling you. Those in blue, those are people who, those are uh, from the U.S. who came to to visit to see. You can see they are coming all the way from that side, and then uh, those that are putting on red. Those are people from Canada, so that means I am American. But then, when I go and then I, when I come from this side, from Canada, then I'll be able to put on red. Yeah. Even though when you come from US. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on. Ah, yes. So do they? Do people pay money here to visit? That means this is free. Your neighborhoods. Yeah. Every every neighborhood has, has a, a park. Oh, okay. If you have, if you want to build an estate mm -hmm. in your plan, you have to plan to have a park. Well, rest. Mm. You have some space for sports. Mm. Wow! Look at this bridge. What shops there? Our chiefs we are just still looking for. I don't know. By the time this girl they were building, our chiefs were looking for dangerous dogs. <laughs> My friend told me, "Go, we have one. We are going to go to Kamani. We are going to go to the You know, by then, a chief, a chief would have a, a very crazy dog and very dangerous dog. <laughs> that would be like having a big, a, a big army. So, when others are building, when others are building bridges and building what?" Oh, I mean, zip line. Oh, that's zip line. Like this one, you want to like get on that. Yeah, yeah, that's zip line. That means you sit on that eh? and then it takes you all through this side. Oh my god. <laughs> James, are you that brave? Should we go for that? 
<laughs> Bro, let's go for that. Then you can take the the bit of the Bro. You can go up there and then take a video. That means you can get a video through. Get a video through. Oh my god, James. This is so rewarding. Oh my god. Look at all these people that are coming to this. So I've come at the zip line, so people as you can see, those ones who are there, they are going to go all through all these lines uh, and then they go at the top of the of the of this river and then all the way down there. So that's where you can have a clear view of the falls. But I don't know if I'm that brave for me to do that. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'm going to find out how much you have to pay for this. So you can see, you can see people, you get it. So it is thing rewarding, like, I don't know if you could try out that. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, so up that side when you cross there and then you cross that big building that's uh, behind that building that's the United States of America that's USA so all people from this side these are coming from Canada so you can see people from this is from different parts of the world they just come here this is the part of Canada so when we go this side Let me go closer here. That's where you can see it very well. Then, uh, up that side. I want to call my mom. to reach at the US US border and Canada <laughs> you might ask yourself like so now do they ask do they ask um, do they ask your um, documents like your um, passport or what to reach here you just come uh, for as long as you've entered in this country. Now, I've been joking and going to Munawea Kubona Tokirango. Ah, wait, I'm so you have No, nobody asks you for that, you know. So, um, I'm trying to see this is the other bridge which we were seeing. Um, uh, they told me this is a bridge that connects uh, US to Canada. I see, I am following people that are going there, so um, I want to see where it takes me. 
You see that? You see that? That's the bridge we were seeing all the way from the other side. Yeah. So let's go and see. Ladies and gentlemen, so you can see. Um, their Majesties King George um, VI and Queen Elizabeth uh, built the site of this bridge on June 1939 and they laid this stone. Can you imagine? So, literally, that means the Queen and the King, they were standing here and they laid this stone. And guess what? I am here. So, the question goes down. In 1939, was your grandmother was she born by that time? <laughs> so, uh, this was, I think that was the official uh, opening of this bridge. So, and here we are. Let's continue going. This is under the other bridge. Wow. This is under the bridge. So, you can see it is... It was built in 1939. Come, so let's go. It was built under 19, uh, 1939, but it still looks strong, you know? And uh, cars are still passing on it. So, I mean, this is incredible. Sawa. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, so where I am standing right now, this is like uh, Niagara City. Um, people are so many today. Well, it's um, today is a holiday. However much they are mixed up with uh, with the tourists, but uh, today there are so many because. It's even a holiday so this is uh kind of like a city people they come to just come here buy things uh you buy uh stuff that will remind you about the, this place uh you find hoodies you find caps that have got a uh, niagara falls on them that have got uh canada that got so many things that are uh giving the history of this place so it is uh, such a busy place as you can see all the way from up that side going downwards so there are casinos there are, there are supermarkets there are so many things you can think of uh, this is where you can do shopping everything food yeah that's guys um, as i told you i wanted to when you reach here you have to pay one dollar so when you pay one dollar, Canadian dollar, and then they have to stamp it for you to go to clear you from the Canadian side for you to go to the US. And then half the bridge is Canada, half the bridge the other side is the United States. So when they clear you here, you have to go all the way and then you first reach to the US and then they clear you too. So if you go and then you reach in the halfway and then they don't clear you in the US, you cannot come back to Canada, then they clear you. So, if you decided to go through, that means you have to go, continue reaching the US, they stamp in, they do the entry, and then you come back, they do the exit from US, and then come back to Canada. So, I didn't want to go into all those kind of things, but that's the procedure. So, if you happen to come here, and then you want to cross the bridge, you want to go to the US, make sure you come with that one dollar for you to go here at the entrance, and then they clear you after clearing you go to us visit and then you can come back if you have a green card if you're a u.s uh, a u.s um, permanent resident if you're a u.s citizen you can do that if you're a canadian you can do that if you have a visa you can do that then you can